I just couldn't eat the sort of stuff my parents were serving up to me. Uh, I knew, <laughs> even in those days, that that is part of an animal. I'm not putting that in my mouth. I'm not chewing it, and by God, I'm not swallowing it. I will be sick, I knew. I just couldn't do it physically, emotionally, psychologically. I could not do it, and it was the same with the dairy products. We, we couldn't live like this. We couldn't actually naturally live like this because we can't, we're not equipped. Claws, talons, fangs, we haven't got that sort of thing where we could eat the meats. And of course, dairy is ridiculously, that's for a cow. It's not even for our species, let alone adults. So that's how it started. People kept on telling me, well, you, you're not going to be very strong. You're going to be a pale seven stone weakling as a vegan. So that gave me motivation to show them, no, I, I can be stronger than you. I'm going to be stronger than you longer. And so that's the sort of motivation you need. I enjoy showing people, look, I'm 61. You can't do this. I have a great fondness for people who've changed to veganism. It's a massive change in their life. I've never gone through that. I've always been vegan. So I think it's possibly one of the most noble things you can do, is to change a habit of a lifetime, all the emotions associated with it, just for the sake of the animals. It's fantastic.